me see. Let's talk to Jennifer. You're on CFRA, Jennifer. Hi. Thank you for waiting, yes. Jennifer. Yes. Oh, it's not a problem. Yes. Um, thanks for having me on. My husband actually called me. He listens to you all the time. Yes. He said a woman called to talk about the rally in March that's happening tomorrow. Right. I wanted to call and let you know that uh, I'm one of the organizers of the pro-choice response. Right. So we'll also be at Parliament Hill and we'll be on Elgin Street near the Human Rights Monument. You know, tomorrow. I'm going to say this, Jennifer, I'm going to say the same thing to, to you that I said to her. Okay. And that is that you people have got to compromise. Both sides have got to compromise. Uh, I, you know, there's, there's no question we do not want to go back to a situation where women had to go to backstreet abortions. We'll never go back, nor should we. Thank however, you. however, it seems to me that there's got to be some protection for a late stage fetus or baby. It doesn't make any sense to me, and I don't think it makes sense to you, that you can kill a baby nine months term in and, and it's not considered to be a human being. That is not right. I could tell you some stories. I'm a mom myself. Mm -hmm. um, quite often, late term abortions are babies that will not survive outside the womb. Yeah, um, but Jennifer... And it's actually but, parents who are Catholic themselves will say... But you see, here's the problem. You won't compromise... What do you what mean I won't compromise? I, I mean, I can't tell an individual what to do. No, but uh, you, certainly you So, can. I mean, it's not up to me to compromise. Well, no, just a minute. You see, that's the problem. Do you, Where? So you, you see, I remember a few years ago, a, a woman took a pellet pistol, shoved it into her vagina, and tried to kill a baby that was nine months term. And, I would and, want and, to know what horrible things had happened that had caused a woman to be that desperate. Whatever the situation, are you telling me that that child that's in the womb at term doesn't have any rights whatsoever? You see, that's the problem. Because you uh, won't compromise and the other side won't I mean, compromise. I, I want to know what was it that drove that woman to do that? Well, wait a minute. If, if why someone would she get, wait, so excuse desperate me. that she would injure herself? Well, well wait a minute. Why, why does that matter? I mean, does it matter if, if, if someone walks down the street and stabs me? You, you want before you, you, I don't have any rights because you want to find out why he stabbed me. Do you know what my ideal world is? No, but you a see, world where nobody who doesn't want to get pregnant ever gets pregnant, and all the people who desperately Jennifer, want children that's fine, can Jennifer, have that, children. That's fine, and and you know that's a wonderful world that we'll never have. But surely to God, but you, it won't happen if you say it won't happen. Surely to if God, you work towards it, it surely may. to God, a a full term baby is a human being and should have some rights. I can, as someone who has carried a pregnancy to term role, I, I really do think that there's a difference between being in vitro and being born. So, but so, so a child at nine months who obviously okay, is, going to, is going to be born the next day... That, the, extreme, that, the extreme example you're using is not what happens at a, in a late-term abortion. We're talking about encephaly, where babies do not have a brain. We're Jennifer, talking about babies Jennifer, who have a Jennifer I, I go back to the, to the situation, and your response was, well, we have to find out why the woman did that. So, okay, these, so then let me, let me ask you this, then. These two young punks who almost killed a man, uh, so are you telling me that before we sentence these people, we should find out what their motivation was? No, because they didn't do self-harm. Why is it that pregnancy is horrible for some people? That, that's not the issue here. Does, does, well, a, does, you a, don't, you does a child... You but you've never been pregnant. Do, does a child... No, no, don't try that. That's stupid. That's a stupid oh, argument. Oh, it's not stupid. That's a stupid, stupid argument. Let, let's, 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 Would you be willing let's discuss this as adults. Woman down? Would you be willing no, to tie a pregnant not. woman down and force her to gestate a pregnancy against her will? Well, what I am saying... Well, I, I certainly that's wouldn't. Not, no, that's and not... And that's what pro-choice no, means, is the, you let the woman decide for herself. See, Jennifer, you're taking it to the extreme. Well, what's the extreme with the pellet bed in the vagina? That's very extreme. Exactly. So let's talk so about the So you're telling extremes. me... What you're telling me let's is... Let's talk about the middle here. No, no, why won't Based you let... Abortions are why, easily, why are you trying to bully me? I'm asking you a legitimate question. Stop okay, your bullying. I apologize. I apologize. Stop bullying. I'm asking you if you don't if you don't think that the fetus at nine months that that she put the pellet gun in her vagina and tried to kill the baby, you're telling me that that baby had no rights whatsoever. Are you telling me that a woman who is pregnant has no rights whatsoever? No, not at all. Well, then I'm not saying that either. 
so so that so that then the baby then does have some rights. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I honestly, you, let, let's not talk about extreme. Let's talk about the general case. But but murder is extreme. Violence is extreme. I know, extreme. but I don't consider abortion to be murder, and women are not incubated. Even even in the case of a of a late, you don't think that something has got to happen with late stage abortion. You're telling me that a I, you're I, telling me that a woman decides at at nine months that she really doesn't want this child anymore for whatever reason that she should be allowed to kill it inside herself at nine I, months. I would want to talk to that woman and find out what she needs, what is missing, what is. And if after all of that, if after, after if after all of that talk, she still wants to kill a nine-month baby inside her, you're going to allow her to do that? Thank you for the call, Brian. You're on CFRA. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. I uh, just uh, uh, comment about the about the abortion issue. Yeah, this is the last call I want to take on it, sir, because both sides have hardened on this, and as I say, if there's going to be no compromise on either side. We're never going to get this thing resolved. Yes. Yeah, we're just calling it, and uh, I'm not talking about people who are blown up. The, uh, I'm just just a Catholic medley that there will be. You said there will be no uh, nobody will come to turn to an agreement on this. Yes, that's right. Because both, uh, side, both sides will refuse to compromise at all. Yeah. Well, uh, I figured last day the the people last day on the shirt, the people that, that are killing these children will they will uh, they will. All right. Okay. I mean, that's uh, Brian. You're entitled to your beliefs, but. Let's 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 talk like adults here. That's my opinion. Okay, that's fine. You're, you're entitled to it, sir. Okay. Thank you. Lines available, folks. Five to one. This is why I'm not. We're not going to take any more calls on abortion. There's a rally pro and for it tomorrow. Neither side. I believe I hold both sides responsible. They're both so hard and fast in their positions that you know we're not we're not going to get this issue ever resolved. And so I, I hold the, the pro life people just as responsible. Because if they would compromise on some, I'm sure that we could finally get some protection, some protection for late stage of